Hi there, welcome back to ADSR Massive Tutorials. If you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel, get yourself subscribed youtube.com forward slash ADSR Tuts. Today we're going to recreate that chill out pluck sound I had playing for you there. And got a little bit of processing going on here as well, some bus processing and stuff. So you can download this patch directly from the MassiveSynth.com website. Click on the link on the screen. Go ahead and download this patch directly. We're going to recreate it here. So, turn off this bus processing, got a little bit of uh, filter, kind of low pass filter being applied there, we'll come back to that later, and some other processing using the Isotope Vinyl plugin, and let's go ahead and recreate this sound, so create a new sound in Massive, and when I was putting this sound together, I wanted a sort of acidy kind of vibe with the sound, so it makes sense to load up the acid wavetable. It's got that quite nice squelchy tone going on and maybe just pitch this oscillator down by one octave to minus 12. Gives it a little bit more squelch. Turn on oscillator 2 now and keep it as a square saw 1 so it's going to complement that acid wave table. Just thickens up that tone. Let's take the pitch of this down by one octave as well and bring the amp down a bit. And then, kind of classic trick we're here really, just detune both of these oscillators by a couple of cents in either direction. And we get that sort of thick, warm sound, but it's also kind of adding a little bit of sort of chorus to it really, that slight detune. So let's move over to this filter section now and apply a DAF filter in here bring that resonance down to just just a little bit less than quarter of the way up and the cutoff can stay around there but let's use an envelope to control this cutoff frequency so click the crosshair, click and drag the crosshair of envelope 1 over to the first modulation box on the, the cutoff frequency here, this filter, click and drag up so now I've got this first envelope controlling this filter and uh, let's just set this envelope up sharp attack kind of decay around about a third of the way round and bring this decay level or sustain right down so we've got that nice kind of envelope shape going on and one thing we can do here, go to this oscillator section and let's just restart via gate here so we're getting the oscillator phases are re-triggering so getting a nice consistent sound there if I turn it off it sounds nice but it's very inconsistent so it's kind of going in and out of sort of phase really so just restart via gate, nice consistent sound it says move back up to this cut off frequency here and use a macro to control this envelope amount here and activate the sidechain feature check that dash to an up arrow in this first modulation box so now this macro here is a volume control for that modulation that we've applied there so we can rename that filter mod and you might wonder why we didn't you just use a macro to control a cutoff frequency without using the sidechain feature if I turn it off one second, you definitely get a different sound if you just use the cutoff frequency as opposed to actually using the sidechain modulator. I think you get more warmer, kind of deeper sort of sound really and it retains that kind of plucky character a little bit more. Okay, so let's use another envelope here to increase that plucky element. So. I'm going to use this envelope to modulate the amp of oscillator 2 so click and drag the crosshair this second modulation envelope over to the first modulation box of the amp of oscillator 2 and then click and drag up so we've got a little bit of modulation being applied not too much and let's set this envelope 2 up a similar way just very plucky very short stabby and it's bringing out the oscillator 2 a little bit it's bringing out the pluck in that oscillator 2 so can move over and set up some effects now, so classic tube 
maybe just bring the dry wet and the drive down a little bit and uh, sync delay it's going to sound really nice with this sort of plucky sound so bring the dry wet down a bit push the damp up this is going to increase the fr high frequency content of the delay and the feedback can go up slightly as well and then let's change the left channel to 2 over 16 and the right channel to 2 over 16 Okay, so it's sounding pretty nice. When we create a new sound in Massive, go back to this oscillator section, you get this vibrato macro in here. So I'm going to apply a bit of vibrato to the sound. And pull that vibrato up to about one third of the way round. I'm also going to just try and add a bit of warmth to the sound. So turn on this feedback here and push this up. Just past quarter of the way round. And also insert one going to apply a bit crusher in here. Let's give us that quite a nice crunchy sound, but the crush is probably a bit too high there, so and then we can use an envelope again to control that crush. And using this first envelope, it's just increasing that crush amount every ever so slightly just to increase that sort of almost like transient on the sound really just help with the attack phase of the sound so trigger zero reset these envelopes just so they're nice and consistent they re-trigger with each new key press we can actually back off the decay level or sustain of the amp envelope as well here push the decay up and then we can control the sound using this decay here leave it around halfway for now so that's everything we need to do in massive gonna have a look at this riff that we've got playing here kind of like an arpeggiator riff really very busy riff and the delay that we've got there in massive is just kind of working in tandem with that riff and giving us making it sound even more busy so I wanted to bring a bit of a sort of old-school kind of lo-fi vibe to this sound so Isotope vinyl plugin it's actually a free plugin you can download from the Isotope website turn this on and we've got a couple of different things that we can use here so I've got a bit of mechanical noise in here a little bit of wear so a bit of dust you can add some scratches if you want so you don't go too crazy with that um, I weren't quite subtle with it really um, you can affect the year as well so you get a bit more sort of old school lo-fi as you go down here the RPM as well it just gives a bit of a vinyl feel to the sound so quite subtle really and also single EQ it's just a low pass filter so I've got a little bit of Q factor a little bit of resonance here as well quite a nice for automating the sound we've got some bust reverb turn that back on bus 2 is not actually active bus 3 is it another tape delay so um, or another delay even but this is on a slower got some slower delay here so what I set this up so we could when you do like little filter sweeps you'll get this kind of like lasting delay with this this tape delay here which provides quite a nice rhythmic element to things if you were kind of automating this. Push the cue up of course.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. I hope you found it useful. Any questions, please get in touch. You can, of course, download this patch directly from the MassiveSynth.com website. Whilst you're there, check out the website. Tons more tutorials on Native Instruments Massive. And thanks for watching. All right, cheers. Bye.